Good morning, Shadia here and welcome back. Today, I'm gonna make something with this spaghetti squash. I'm thinking, hmm, some chili on top. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start our oven at 350. Okay, so our, our spaghetti squash is Cut in half, and we're gonna just take out all the seeds. Go around the wall of the spaghetti, and bam, all cleaned out. Now, in a baking dish of your choice, I'm a quarter of an inch of water in this. We're just gonna turn them down into the water, and to the oven we go for about 30 to 40 minutes. I have about three cups of walnuts. I'm gonna dump them in the Ninja Foodie. I'm gonna cover them. Just do six cups just to be safe. Put my pressure lid on. Pressure high for uh, seven minutes. Okay, my beet, my um, walnuts are done. Actually, I'm rinsing, um, rinsing and draining my beans. I have one can of red kidneys and one can of black beans. Steam release, and then I'm going to um, drain and rinse the nuts, and then we're going to the food processor so we can make our ground walnut meat. Come on. See? And now we're just going to rinse those, pull them off. And look. See how soft that is? It took nothing to break that. Now my walnuts are in the food processor until I get the consistency that yeah baby that looks good to me okay, let's start this um, ninja foodie on sear saute on high start and I'm gonna put two tablespoons of oil of your choice mine is grapeseed I'm gonna do two tablespoons of that I did about a half three quarters of an onion handful of peppers these are frozen and with two small handfuls you can throw as many as you want in here okay I'm just gonna give that a little stir I'm gonna throw one two bay leaves and a half I saw that little one slide out of there snuck in there a little rosemary and about a quarter tea, teaspoon of cumin powder. Got some basil. Four shakes. What's that, about a quarter a teaspoon? Oregano. Did I say oregano or did I say basil? I'm sorry, basil, oregano. You got me, right? About a quarter of a teaspoon. Now, walnut ground meat. Okay, I think I'm just going to use the whole four cups. Might have to add some water in here because it's drying out or either turn the temperature down to low. All right. So, yeah, I think I want to add a little water. But, oh, man, I wish you could smell this. We need to smell a YouTube real fast. This is crazy. Look at that. You see how it looks like meat? Well, it is meat. It's meat from a nut. Nut meat. <laughs> nut meat. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of water in here. That was probably about a quarter of a cup. I just don't want it to burn or stick to the pot. So now, let's get our 
beans. Remember, one can of red kidneys and one can of black beans. Yep, there they go. Okay, I'm going to do everything in teaspoons. I'm going to go with onion powder. Okay, this ginger is really done, so I don't think this is a teaspoon. About a half a teaspoon of ginger. And a teaspoon of garlic. about a quarter of a teaspoon, which is a pinch. You know you're heavy handed. I don't even know why you're trying to get a little bit more. All right, because I don't want to burn nobody with this. Just gonna dash of the cayenne pepper. A teaspoon of our vigetta and we're going to mix this up and look at this the ninja is still on sear saute on high and it's actually cooking my food so you don't always have to use the lid you can just cook i'm going to taste this and see how Mm. A little bit more of the ghetto. Uh, another teaspoon. Can't get over how the walnut, once you turn it into meat, has the type of consistency of regular meat. It's a little bit more bite to it but I love it love it love it love it All right I have a six ounce can of tomato paste I'm getting ready to open that and put that in whole can y'all whole can Sorry about the noise. I know I keep saying that and I keep doing it. How rude of me. Okay, so I'm going to put some tomato sauce in here. I had to drop the temperature on the Ninja to low medium. Because um, it was just cooking so fast. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Yeah, I'm going to have to scrape the bottom so it doesn't burn. Okay. Taste test. Yes, I think I'm just gonna add the rest of this because I'm forgot oh I'm putting it, putting it on top of the um, the, uh, the spaghetti noodles of the squash, so I don't want it pasty. I want it a little loose. This is done, y'all. So I put a little bit of water in the bottom of my jar because you want to get all the goodies out. I think I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of nutritional yeast in this. Where is it? Oh, it's right in my face. Just a little bit. I 
one heaping teaspoon. That should be good. Let's see if we get that nice cheesy flavor that the nutritional yeast gives us. Okay, let's go for another taste. Not double dipping. Yes. Mmm. What? Baby bye. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mmm. And it's not salty. It's perfect. Why y'all let me forget the chili? And the crushed red peppers. You can't have chili without spice. Don't ask me how much. I'm just sprinkling to taste. <laughs> I don't know. And that's all the the uh, crushed red peppers I have left. So guess what? Pow. But yes. I guess I need to taste this again. All right. Somebody please call 911 because this is so good. Mm. Oh, that pepper hit me in the back of my throat. I'm going to turn this off. And we're waiting on the squash. Oh, I'm so proud. Look how nice and clean those bowls are. Yes. Nice and clean. Sprinkle a little bit of oil on my noodles. This is all the Himalayan pink salt I have left, so we're going to have to deal with that. But luckily, you don't need a lot. Right. I'm going to use some parsley. Parsley works. I like parsley. And now, we're going to reload our spaghetti squash bowl. And now for the chili. Look at how pretty. Look at that. Isn't that delightful? Don't tilt. Please don't tilt. Now let's take some nutritional yeast and sprinkle on top. Or if you have some cheese powder or like Parmesan cheese, I think I have some in the refrigerator. Let me look. Oh, this is going to be delicious. Yep, I do. And I'm going to take the parsley and sprinkle on top. And there you have it. Sp spaghetti squash with chili on top. Sprinkle with cheese. Okay, we got Brother Vlad here going to do a taste test. He's not a vegan, but he's willing to give me a taste test and see what he thinks. Sister Sadia made a good dish. Uh-huh. It smells like chili. You like. good. You got beans. Mm. You got tomatoes. Dig, dig down. It's real good. Yeah. Got cabbage. Nope. That's spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. Mm -hmm. mm. That's real good. Yeah. So we get a thumbs up. Thumbs up. For S Sister Sidia, vegan chili dish. Yes. It's real good. <laughs> I might be a vegan. There you go. Thank you, Sidia. Come Cedilla. on board. You're welcome. Mm. Real good. <laughs>